we solved algebra equations, and the method we used was using an undo table. In an undo table, there's two columns, a sequence column and an undo column. In the sequence column, we list out what happened to x to create the equation. For example, in this equation, 4x minus 9 equals 3. We start with x, because that's our unknown. And then, if you notice, the first thing that happened to x was it was multiplied by 4. So I'm going to write it times 4. After that, we subtracted 9 from it, minus 9, and it equaled 3. Equals 3. So that sequence column basically lists what happened to x in the order that it occurred. Now to solve it, we take our 3 and flip it over into the undo column. So there's our 3, and we're going to undo each of the actions that happened to x from the sequence column. So it, we subtracted 9 last, so we're going to add 9. And then it says multiply by 4. To undo that, we're going to divide by 4. And if we do these actions, we should be able to get our answer. 3 plus 9 is 12, divided by 4, 3. So that tells us the value of x must be 3. And if you wanted to check it, you could take 3, put it back in the sequence column, and see if it works. 3 times 4 minus 9, does it equal 3? 3 times 4 is 12, minus 9 equals 3. It works. I'll do one more. We've got this equation, x plus 7 divided by 2 equals 4. So in the sequence column, we started with x, and then we added 7. Then we divided it by 2, and it equaled 4. So that's our sequence of what happened to x. Now to undo it, we're going to put it into the undo column. Starting with 4, to undo dividing by 2, we're going to multiply it by 2. To undo adding 7, we're going to subtract 7. And that should get us our answer. 4 times 2 is 8, minus 7. That means x must have been 1. And again, if I want to check it, I take 1, put it back in the sequence column. 1 plus 7 is 8, divided by, two, divided by 2 is 4. And that's exactly what it should have been. So that is how we use undo tables.